Well, happy Independence Day to all of my American family and friends, all of you down there celebrating uh, your big July 4th weekend. Hope you're having a good time. Um, I know Canada had a good one for our July 1st weekend, so uh, we share a day close to that. And being that it's Independence Day, I thought I'd take some time today and talk about independence. Uh, that's uh, foremost with a lot of persons with disabilities, and there seems to be a lot of confusion out there as to what independence means. I'm going to give you an overview of what mine means. All right, so uh, bear with me. You may not agree. It's your choice. That's the nice thing about doing things like this. All I'm doing is uh, offering you my my opinion, which may not be the opinion of everybody else, but something I do understand, having been disabled since age three, is the whole concept of independence. So uh, let's give this a go. You continue having a good day. I'll continue rambling. All right, let's go. Thanks. Independence for me is pretty straightforward. It's about self-determination. It's about the having the ability to make up your mind, determine your own decisions. Uh, it's not about the absence of, of help around if you need it, uh, from staff to service dogs, as examples. Uh, it's also myself. I mean, every now and then I hire a, a cleaning lady. Uh, sometimes it's because I'm lazy. Other times it's because my bod just isn't in shape that week to uh, uh, be doing a bunch of uh, repetitive motion stuff with my shoulder and, and so forth. I, I'm very conscious of repetitive motion, so I watch for those things. But that's, that's a nicety to have, having somebody come in and, and housekeep. Uh, you know, you, you pay for the age you need, but you're the one that directs your life, not somebody else. Of course, some of that is dependent on the environment around you, and that's where the access I was talking about yesterday comes in. Uh, you know, I can apply for all the jobs I want, but if they're in a building I can't get into, uh, there's no sense in me going there. Uh, even my own apartment was advertised as wheelchair friendly. Uh, there is a difference between wheelchair friendly and wheelchair accessible, I've discovered. Uh, but you, you learn to work around those little things and you watch for buzzwords. Yes, there's a, an elevator here. Yes, the apartment I can, you know, works fairly well for my wheelchair, but the, the bathroom, for example, my chair won't fit in there. So uh, if somebody that really couldn't get out of their wheelchair at all wanted to rent here, uh, it wouldn't be a possibility. So it's what contributes to my independence is how well the environment around me has incorporated functions I need, like access. And for myself, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, a ramp is, is really all I need. There are a lot of disabilities that require more than that, but it's still having a community that recognizes uh, accessibility for everybody. Uh, and that's that's one of the concepts. Self-determination, as I said, it's very important. You're the one that has to direct your own life. Taking care of the disabled is a huge industry in North America uh, and something I don't see a lot of people working their way out of the job for. Decision making, on the other hand, for the disabled often overlaps with taking care and the two are very, very different. So to all those well-meaning folks out there, I appreciate, I, I do appreciate you, but let me make my decisions. Give me the tools to use so I can make my decisions. That will contribute to my independence the same way it contributes to your independence. After all, there is a reason why the saying, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, came about. Mind you, when St. Bernard, who is uh, originally thought to have said that, uh, said it, he said it in, in Latin. Uh, when you translate it uh, directly, uh, that sort of translates as hell is full of good wishes and desires. Uh, but I don't want to go there. So your intentions may be good, but they don't really contribute to the pavement in front of me. And that brings me to the main thrust uh, to ensure independence. And that's your attitude. You know, uh, I'm not saying your attitude is negative, but 
the reason this is called Confessions of a Poster Child is exactly that reason. The picture at the beginning, uh, I was five years old. I was a cute poster child. There's a whole philosophy built around that. Uh, you know, when you turn 18, you're no longer a cute poster child. You're not an adult that's dependent on the system around you. So the, the poster child philosophy that the one I've developed anyway, and how I've worked it out, is, uh, you know, it's a double-edged sword. It's nice to see pictures of, well, I shouldn't say it's nice, but I mean, it helps when you see a picture of a smiling young poster child. You know, it brings up, yeah, I want to help this, you know, it, it, it's, that's what it is. It's really, it's a marketing tool. Uh, unfortunately, that contributes to the belief that everybody with a disability needs to be taken care of. I don't need to be taken care of. I can take care of myself. I've had way too many people throughout my life ask me, you know, well, what kind of pension do you have? Well, I hate to tell you this. I don't have a pension. I've worked all my life. I mean, I, I have a pension later on. Uh, it's not a heck of a lot, but it's a pension. Uh, I have worked all my life, and I'm still amazed when people express such surprise that somebody with a disability would work. This is 2011, people. Come on. You know, the world has changed. Please don't be a barrier to me. Look at me as a person before you look at the disability. My disability doesn't define who I am. I define what my disability is. And for all of those helpers out there, you need to understand this. Uh, it's fine to help. It's fine to, uh, to recognize that. And there are a segment of the population that require that. I don't, and many of my peers don't. So get that out of your mind right now. Uh, I can take care of myself. Just don't put up barriers for me. It is difficult to tell people that mean well that that well-meaning thinking may not be all that beneficial. Uh, nobody likes to see their child suffer. But if your child had cancer, are you going to deprive them of him or her of chemotherapy because you don't want to hurt the child? Uh, chemo can be radiation. All that, that that can be very unpleasant, but look at the results if you don't get it done. Sometimes uh, you need a little bit of pain to get a little bit of gain. Uh, and I hate to say that, but uh, that's that's been my experience in life. Uh, that doesn't take away from the love you feel from a person. Uh, it just, uh, you know, you're, you're doing what's right. And sometimes what's right may not always be comfortable. So let me end today with... Uh, just, just a little, a little saying. I've, I don't even know where it came from. I've known it for years, and that's when we treat people equally, we ignore differences. But when we treat people equitably, then we recognize and respect their differences, and that's what, uh, that's what I want. I want, I want, I want things to be equitable. Uh, let's face it. Uh, in, you know, the the equality is very different from. Uh, equitable and you have to be able to, to understand that difference. Uh, once you get a grasp on that, it's just going to contribute to my independence and to yours. The Americans got that uh, idea way back when, when they told the Brits, no, we want to be responsible for ourselves and we're pushing for self-determination here. They went to war for that. Uh, I've had to go to war in some ways on my own over my lifetime for this. But think about that. You don't want to be a barrier. That's not uh, helping anyone. So think about what you're doing the next time. Think about it when you meet with meet a person with a disability. They're a person just like you are. The disability is secondary. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. Check you later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right. P.S. Happy Fourth of July. Enjoy your independence the way I enjoy mine. Later.